The production of the KV-1 tanks started in the Soviet Union in 1939. This tank type was tested by the Russians in the Winter War on the front against Finland. It was named after the then Soviet People's Defense Commissar, i.e. Minister of Defense, Kliment Voroshilov, who was later Marshal and President of the Soviet Union. The production of these tanks ended in 1943. KV-1s were also deployed on the Russian front against Finland in the Continuation War, 1941-1944, through when some of them were destroyed. Only two of them were captured undamaged, and they were prepared for the use of Finnish troops. Both of these tanks are on display in the Army Museum. The KV-1 on display here was captured at the River Svir power station in Russia, Karelia, in April 1942, and taken for use by Finnish troops after repair work. The tank took part in the Battle of Portinhoika in the Karelian Isthmus in 1944, when a Red Army T-34 tank fired on it with its 85mm gun. The traces of hits can still be seen on the front armor of the tank. However, the Finnish tankers survived, only getting frightened and suffering a loss of hearing. This piece was used by Finnish troops until 1945. The tank was transferred to the Armour Museum on June 23, 1961. It has the Finnish identifying markings from the Continuation War. This tank type was called Klimi in Finland.